Hey everybody, today we're going to do something different. We're going to do a review of the Graco ES500 stencil cordless machine. Battery powered by DeWalt Flex Plus batteries. Uh, full honesty, I saw this machine at a Graco day. I asked Graco if I could demo one to try it out to see how it works. I was very interested in it. And you'll see throughout this video, I've already used it. I painted curbs with this on an old striping frame. You'll see at the end of the video, I'll attach some of the footage. Uh, first impressions of the gun, of the machine, very impressive for what it is. It's small, weighs 31, 35 pounds. It runs at 3,300 PSI. It uses a standard Flex Plus gun that you get on all your line laser machines. Uh, it's got an output of just under a half a gallon a minute. So it can run uh, 21 tip. It's got the same, it's got a nice, nice uh, pressure adjustment knob on it. A little bit different than the other ones I've seen. Worked out perfect. Primer valve, just like we have on all the other machines. Just a little baby version of it. It comes with a quarter by 50 foot uh, standard airless hose. I have a skinnier hose on here. I don't want to dirty up their brand new hose when I was painting with it. Uh, it comes with, I got this one with uh, two six amp hour batteries. Uh, it did its job. The first battery when I ran it, I flushed the machine for 10 minutes prior to painting with it. After painting it with a worn out 219 tip doing the curbs, it sprayed about two gallons of paint and then the battery died. So then I threw the new battery in it and the new battery sprayed three gallons of paint. Then the paint can was obviously empty. Had a little bit of life in it, not much. Probably had another 10 minutes of running life left to it. But it definitely did the job. I know the push ones, the ones mounted on the frame, come with 9 amp hour batteries. Which I think would be a huge improvement if they just stuck the 9 amp hour on all of them. Um, it kept up. My, my tip I was spraying with was a 219, but more than likely it was over a two, 221 because it had a year of spray on it. Machine was screaming most of the time, but it kept up the pressure. It didn't drop, it didn't drop the quality of the spray. As soon as I let go of the trigger, it immediately recovered from the pressure, so it wasn't running dry. Um, it's portable. I wouldn't want to carry around a parking lot painting it with it, but it is very light. It's a great, I think it's a great replacement for the handheld guns that everybody's been trying for spraying blue boxes, um, stenciling. Reason I want it is we do a lot of green, purple, and red. Red's not popular around here. So we always had a little Titan 440 that we put a generator on and use that in the same striping frame. That's kind of a pain in the butt moving two things to do the same job. This one will do exactly what the other thing will do with the battery. I spray oil-based paint through it. It's a Sean Williams Low VOC uh, set fast. Spray it just like my the big line lasers do. Uh, no complaints about it. It held up to all the pressure. I was running it hard. You'll see in the videos that I wasn't giving it a chance to recover. I was just painting with it to see what this thing will actually do. And no matter what I sprayed with it, light pole bases, ballards, curbing, the only thing I could tell is you don't hear the engine running. And all you hear is the, the, the pump circulating. I can't complain at all about it. If you have our second yellow machine, the reason I was painting curbs with it, our second yellow machine I sold waiting for my new 
yellow machine to come. Thought it was going to come sooner than it did. Still waiting three months on that one. So we had a big curb job. So I had this. I'm like, you know what? We'll try it. Didn't feel like changing out colors on another machine. So, and it, it did, it sprayed curbs like a champ. I hand sprayed the tops, as you'll see. But the guy came along with the, uh, his, his line laser and, and cut in all the bottoms. As I said, the machine comes with two 6 amp hour batteries. Uh, flex volt. Let's see. Comes with these, comes with the charger. Uh, 50 foot hose. It, it's a great little machine. I will be buying one. This, is a, this was a demo one. I have to send this one back to them. But I will be buying one. And stay tuned for more videos. I have a making something to paint in between trailer truck. Uh, we have a couple hundred stalls to do between trailer trucks, 54 foot lines, making a, a, a cart for this to go on with five gallons of paint so I could paint in between the truck lines without dragging a hose behind me. Should be interesting if it works out as I said it, as I hope it does. Um, other than that, just trying to think what else there was. There was nothing, Nothing bad. The only thing bad about it is I think it should come with 9 amp hour batteries. I think if you can get one one pail per battery, I think it would be a home run. I know FlexVolt makes 12, 12 and 15 amp hour batteries. A lot more money, but by the time you buy this, another, another $100 for the cost of additional batteries might not be that bad. Uh, other great thing about this you take off this piece here, and you can buy for under two hundred dollars online. It ranges one fifty to one seventy five. You can put a one and a half gallon hopper on it, so you don't have to have a suction tube. So if you're just doing three or four blue boxes, you put the hopper on there, fill up with paint, put it on a cart, and you just go. There's no hoses. It's all self-contained. The only thing you'll have is the the spray hose itself to do, which I will be getting a hopper for doing the oddball colors. Um, would I paint an entire parking lot with this? No, it's not. You don't. You won't get the production out of it. For, but for detailing work, you can't beat it for detail work. Um, well, that's about it for this machine for now. Uh, I will be using it more in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for more updates on this. Every time I use it, I'll probably just post a, a quick video explaining what we did with it and, and how it held up. But so far, two thumbs up. Like it. Be buying my own. Um, I have to return. Unfortunately, I have to return this one beginning of June. So after that, I'll be purchasing it and... We'll be doing some fun stuff with this. So stay tuned. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Helps me out and see what else we can do with it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. spraying five gallons of paint with the ES500 stencil machine. Uh, I went through one battery first 
but the first battery I cleaned the machine thoroughly to change it from latex to acetone so it didn't have a lot of spray time on it I probably had 10 10 minutes of flushing to do it and I sprayed uh, probably about two gallons of paint and then the battery died then I put this battery on oh, this battery's dead so somebody posted on there that you get about three gallons out of fully charged battery and these are the six six volt flex batteries so i'd say yeah you're not getting a full pail out of a out of a six amp nine amp easily get a full a full pail out of it uh, somebody had a question about the pressure i had i changed the hose i have a 316 hose on it it's a little skinnier than a quarter inch and with a 12 inch extension for doing curbs um couldn't tell the difference between holding that spray gun at full pressure versus my any other machine my 5900 had the same amount of pressure probably has 3000 psi in it or damn close to it um also with the battery life is we're spraying continuous curb so the machine was running as long as it takes to paint two gallons of paint on curbs non-stop the machine was cycling the entire time it's not like painting a stall where you're in and out and machine shutting off this thing ran the full time to spray uh yeah two two and a half gallons maybe possibly three gallons of paint um and then i ran out with that second battery I finally ran out of paint out of the five gallon pail it does what it's supposed to do I like it. I like it for the size of it. Very compact. Um, very easy to use. You're not going to paint a parking lot with it, obviously. But if you want to do blue handicap squares, you have some oddball, like purple or green, like EV parking. That's why I want one, is for all the green parking that we do. Um, I don't have to put, change out one of my blue, my blue machine or my white machine to an oddball green color purple um, you gotta do blackout it'll work good for black this has acetone in it this is a uh, all fancy set fast so spray beautiful they didn't even clog changing it from latex to oil no clogging it worked extremely it worked just like a regular machine very happy with it we're gonna be doing some more testing with it but after that, you have to go to my YouTube channel to see the full review of this.